ahimsa is the first step on the yogic yama and niyama practice. Literal translation, kindness to self, kindness to others. And now that relates on the mat is like, what are your thoughts like on the mat? Like, are you like, mm, oh my gosh, crusted lunch. Oh, I can't wait until this doesn't hurt anymore. Or, oh, I was so much better at this yesterday. There's just so many things that might come up. And if you could utilize a word, kind of like a lasso to a thought, ahimsa just softens that, which brings us to today, which is the second, which is satya. And satya is truthfulness. So as you grab your strap for just a moment, you'll take your strap up above your head. I find that satya relates quite quickly to modification, uh, acceleration of the poses, backing off the pose when needed, and also assessing where you feel tight. And ahimsa is going to remind us, okay, be nice to that really painful spot. Like a truthful satya sentence for today is, is it uncomfortable? If the answer is yes, can you alter your shape so it doesn't feel that, let's say, annoying uh, or uncomfortable? Or it, yeah, if you're noticing, you're like, this is not for me today. That's a satya from your inner self. You could literally lower it. Let's just do it together. Lower the strap. And there's a little bit of relief to that, yeah? Also, positioning of the strap. I recommend a smaller grip so that when you're up above the head, you can feel the back of the scapular blades. And when I pull on the straps themselves, there's this knot. Everybody feel that? The knots under there? Okay. Now, Satya would say there are knots there. Don't ignore them. Can you breathe into them a little bit? Inhale. Exhale. Pull on the strap. Yeah. Real nice. Just two more. Okay. Great breath. One more time. Good. And we'll slowly just take the strap off to the side. Rest your palms face up on your knees and close your eyes. Satya, S-A-T-Y-A. Truthfulness on the mat with self. This is often, at least in a physical practice for me, related to can I go a little deeper? An encouraging, truthful reality of, you know, this is uncomfortable. I'm going to back off. And then right away practice ahimsa, kindness to that thought, kindness to that reality. Kindness to self. For once we begin to tap into this type of inner communication, we become attuned to the thing that is so uniquely ours, our own instincts, our feelings, and ultimately what we believe to be true about ourselves, about our body, and in the moment. It is a massage of both sensation and relief. We'll just take a few sounds of kind of like a ringing of a tuning instrument or the bell of a gong, that kind of dissipating sound that brings in noise, inhales, open mouth, just say ha, ha, and then a little relief. One, three times, breathe in. Oh. sealed out through nose exhalation. Satya, like sa, ki, and ya together. Repeat after me, say satya, satya. Two more times, satya. Again, satya. Draw hands to hearts on Jalei Mudra. When those thoughts on the mat, ahimsa, come up, where you are less than, let's say, complementative to your experience, when harsher, or even for lack of a better word, unrealistic thoughts come in the way. These are natural. We are alive. The yamas and the niyamas give us this 
tool set to bring ourselves back to a more balanced state of mind. Can you back out of a posture? Or in fact, today especially, go a little deeper, go a little longer into a variation, into an intense position. Inhale through nose last time. Lips sealed out through nose. Relax hands down to the knees. Take your strap and just pull it forward.